about the introduction of latex programming uh, latex software so you can make your documents via two or three methods like you can get the a, a latex editor online or you can get the latex software freely available that is on also online so for latex software you can uh, write on the google latex software and that is freely available you just uh, go down so there is uh, one website latex project you we'll just go to the softonic uh, website you can get the free latex software right it is also freely available it depends on you uh, mm, what uh, you favor like you want to make your documents online or you want to make on the uh, offline on the latex software okay so latex software is uh, available online you can get it but what i mostly use uh, like uh, latex uh, editor online uh, so i'll just uh, uh, search the latex editor online so first uh, website what uh, we see here is the overlip online latex editor so i mostly use or prefer this uh, overlip so earlier it was the freelatex.com but they both uh, merged and it becomes overlip.com and lot of others uh, online uh, editor platform for latex are also available so that is on the codecox uh, website and also on other uh, cl latex is also uh, i have i've been talking about and you can go to the papiria.com that is also uh, online latex editor but uh, in our lecture we will uh, only talk about uh, or we will uh, do our documentation in overlip okay let's uh, see the website how it looks like okay this is the uh, website of the latex where you can uh, edit your documents or can make your thesis you can write your assignment lab reports and everything is there so you can see you can if you have not registered yet you can register here registered options are here and you can log in also if you have already registered so here is the plans and pri pricing also available and templates you can get the all the templates also and features of benefits also so if we we'll see the plans and pricing first so in the monthly uh, you can see if you will take the personal subscription so only uh, one uh, collaborator so you can share your documents with only one collaborator and uh, it will be sync with dropbox and github and full document history is also available so you can just take the free trial also right or uh, if you will take the best value that is the standard so it will be dollar 23 per month but and you can have 10 collaborators per per project so if you will make one uh, uh, thesis or one document so only 10 people can uh, read it or 10 people can edit it also right uh, so this is the uh, amount of dollar 23 per month and for the professional monthly it became like dollar 45 per month and you can have unlimited college sister and if you will go to the uh, annual subscription so for the personal it goes around dollar 139 per year and yeah it's same only one collaborator for the standard it becomes dollar uh, 219 per year and uh, also it is also same and for the professionals uh, it becomes dollar 429 per year right and now we come to the special price for the students if you are a student you have lot of opportunities and you have uh, discounts like right? so what i was uh, uh, getting the free i was <laughs> doing all these things free so you can get the free only one collaborator so you can only share uh, to the one your mate Uh, so he can on he or she can only edit but you cannot uh, share with the two or three people okay at a, at a one project you can have only one collaborator right and for the if you will go to the uh, annual subscription you will you will get dollar per uh, 99 per year so you can have uh, per project per you can have uh, six collaborator right on per project and for the students uh, uh, that is for uh, $10 per month and it was the annual and it was the monthly uh, subscription so it will be six collaborator per project but it will be 10 dollar per month so these are the uh, basically the pricing and subscription plan and now we can go to the template so what uh, you can make uh, actually on that platforms so i have already talked about in my previous video if you have not seen my 
previous videos what we will cover in this tutorials or in this courses so you can look back uh, on the youtube channel right uh, so we can make the academic journal we can write here in uh, latex uh, and uh, you can have bibliography you can write your own books here and you can have you can make your resume and cv also you can make your cover letter or formal letters newsletters homework assignments posters projects and lab reports thesis presentations so lot of things are uh, available here to make uh, or enhance your research skills or your resume and cv so it reflects uh, very good to others right so you can go down so you can have the templates format here so how people are uh, how it provides right you can go to the thesis also you can make if you want to uh, take the templates but it will be good you understand the basic coding how it how you can make otherwise if you will take the directly to the template and you, it will be very hard to edit the code or to make the documents right so uh, i think you will have to familiar with the basics of the latex right so you can have also the resume and cv and so all the this is the uh, i think project report right so all these are templates are also available so it is benefit benefit for us right so okay so now we will uh, go to the we'll login to our um, account if you have not uh, registered you can register also so i uh, because i have already registered here so i'll just directly log in to my account you can also register and log in right so we'll log in and we'll see how the editor will look like so i have already made lot of uh, documents here you can see right lots of documents i all uh, usually or mostly use only this uh, platform overlip so here is also the project is coming you can see your project also if you have made one and you place branching templates and everything so and here is your trash project if you have if another person has shared uh, any project with you you can see that an archived project and all project and you can make even your new folders also right so now here is a template or you can make a new project so basically uh, for this you, if you uh, click on the new project so you can have the options blank project example project or you can upload the uh, uh, external project also if you have made on the latex software or you can import from the github also so uh, if you, you will uh, go below or down so you will get the template options academic journal books formal letters homework so let's have a check on this if you'll go to the all so that will same will come and but you will get all these things so we have seen also without uh, uh, online without logging in actually so okay uh, go back to your project okay now we will uh, look how it looks like our uh, where is our editor and compiler so make one project so uh, just go to the blank project and give the name to it let's say because we are uh, doing the course here so let's give name is the latex course right and just create it now it will open so uh, you can see here the in code is uh, already written some code is already written and on the right side you can see the this uh, portion this is the our compile region or uh, output region and here we will we are giving our output so this is uh, area is our editor like uh, latex editor and this area is our output or compiler like right? so and this is uh, after uh, if you have made uh, one uh, assignment or one project have completed has completed so you can have the download pdf option so you can download it from there and now this is the share option you can see so you can share with uh, your uh, guide or anyone anyone like 
met so you can just directly uh, write their mail and just just share but you can control it is they are, they can only read only or they can also edit so it depends on you and you can also turn on link sharing or turn off the link sharing also after some time right so let's uh, another option is submit if you want to submit uh, your project uh, so just it is load loading okay so we'll talk about the history whatever you have made you can go into your history also and another uh, the button is also the layout so how it looks like it depends on you so here uh, in the default you can have editor and pdf you can also already see this is the editor and this is the pdf version and if you want to editor only so if you click here so editor will only come out and if you'll go see the pdf only and you want to hide editor so you can just hide the editor and you can uh, open your pdf in a separate tab on also right so you can go into the separate tab so it will open on separate tab right okay let's let's go to the default uh, option so you will have uh, pdf here in right and editor is on the left side and you can also get assistant chat here chat option is also there so you can anytime you can chat them right and now you can this portion is basically for your for uh, keeping your documents or if you want to upload or export any documents from outside like something images pdfs or any other type of uh, data uh, to plot uh, so you can all uh, upload here so let's say i have to upload any uh, or uh, add uh, i have to add any images so we can upload the images from our uh, laptop or computer so i just uh, added my one image and keep your uh, image name simple because you will have to write your image name in the code so that will come reflect to your pdf right so it will be it should not be the large and uh, so because you will have to write your image name if you will insert your image into your document right so i have given the one dot png very simple name now you can have the uh, delete option you can also delete it you can also rename it like and you can make another folder like for the different different images on data you can make folder and save it to the separately and you can also import the files if you have made any documents or code latex code uh, in the software or you are exporting from online from any other source or uh, from any any other your fellows so you can uh, add their file also here and just run uh, and recompile this uh, their files also so that is the benefit of this and all the uh, assignments or projects you will create will be saved on to your login id on that platform right so this is the very um, um, uh, good or <coughs> thing in this platform right so now let's have a look to the editor so this is our editor so for the so we will just talk about only the basic uh, today's for the today's class so so you will have to define the document class class so that is articles we are writing articles it is already predefined okay so you will have to make use the use package utf at uh, so for any further operation you will have to uh, insert the package so for any mathematical expression you will have to uh, use package for mathematical expression if you want to add colors so you will have to make uh, use package for colors so it depends on you but i'll talk about later on uh, when i'll perform different different uh, different different uh, operations like adding colors uh, and adding urls hyperlinks and everything so i'll talk about all these uh, packages right so you can see for the title it is given the latex code so okay uh, we are already making the latex code so it will be good to give the latex code and now we can recompile it so this is the latex code and now if we'll uh, delete all these things okay so date is given automatically so because we have already mm, this package is giving 
right? And you can also now if what happens when we uh, use package of this UTF ink is deleted, right? Oh yes. So now we will compile. So you see it doesn't happen because this package is not used or this uh, like uh, we are not using any performance related to this package, right? So now we are also erasing the Mac title. So what happens? We'll see. Nothing will happen, right? So now what we can do? Nothing will not happen. But so only the title, the latex course was there. But if we are not giving the Mac title uh, of uh, code code, so the latex course title is not coming. So you can make Mac titles, right? So from where? So we have defined the title is latex course. Wherever you will uh, put this code Mac title, it will automatically reflect. Map title. Okay, so uh, you can after introduction uh, you can make title, right? So then compile. So it will come after the introduction, right? Right. Uh, okay. Let's. Move on to this uh, topic, right? Okay, now compile. It is getting some error because we are giving on the. So let's uh, keep it simple. So this is the latex code. So uh, we will cover only on this uh, particular. You know, whole the weeks classes will be on that particular, and I will share all the PDFs and codes to uh, my website. Okay. So in this, so we have uh, given the section for introduction. So. For introduction, we make week uh, first and lecture one. Okay. So this is the uh, till now we will cover only this for today's class, and after that we will start coding basic things from uh, this onwards, right? So I hope you like this video, and for more. Uh, like share and subscribe my youtube channel and follow me on my website and regular so it will be good to have more interesting videos how to uh, enhance your skills on latex or it will enhance your research skills also right so thank you so much everyone and i will upload it on my website my uh, this code and this uh, pdf every time when i use when i finish the class and thank you so much keep in touch Thank you.